Hi everyone, I did some research. Do you know that Quick has become a huge company? In their catalogue, they have more than 2,000 products, each made by them here in Italy. So today, I'm here in Ravenna, because here they moored their test boat. There you are, Nimbus T11 full option. On board, there is everything that Quick could have put on it. So there's only one thing left for me to do, put her through the ringer. Why? Because this is the boat show. Honestly, I was expecting to have more screens with everything installed on board. Come on, let's start to get out. Here is already a very useful product, the manoeuvrer's propellers. Let's see if they work well. Quick has a wide range of thrusters that push from 25 to 1,400 kilogram force. Obviously, for very large boats, the ones that are mounted here on board are part of the quick synchronous motors range, which are thrusters with a reluctance motor. Simplifying as much as possible means it is more efficient and sturdier. A very interesting fact is that both the bow and stern thrusters can be managed from the controls for proportional systems or the plotter. You can turn 360 degrees while standing in the same position, or move to starboard or port side, which is super easy. I have to say that the progresses this company has made in the past few years are quite impressive. Conventionally, Quick has always been a company for wind lasses or battery charges, but I have to say that nowadays they develop everything, and they do it in Italy. Yes, because their products are designed, engineered, and manufactured in their facility in Piangipan, near Ravenna, and it's a 50,000 square meter plant, of which 20,000 are covered. One of their leading products is the gyro stabilizer MC Squared Quick Gyro, all developed by Quick and made in Italy. If I'm not wrong, it is placed aft. Here it is. Its peculiarity is that the spinning mass rotates on a horizontal axis, and as it rotates at more than 5,000 revolutions per minute, this reduces the mechanical stresses and creates less heat, meaning it is a natural dissipation system. There's no need for pumps or additional sea cocks to cool it down. That's amazing. Ah, beh, anche questo è molto interessante. Sto parlando Well, this is all very interesting. I'm talking about the QNN, meaning the Quick Nautical Network. Basically, it's an app that, using the HTML5 protocol, allows you to visualize and manage the whole Quick instrumentation through the onboard plotter. Here, for example, we have the thrusters, the stabilizer, the battery, the inverters, the anchoring systems, and the lights. For each function, you can manage everything from here. For example, on board we have six battery charges of two different types, but there are also the inverters, which allow us to use every kind of electronic device, just like at home. As I already mentioned, there is also the anchoring system, which can be seen here. And wait a second, really? Wait, wait, wait. Oh yeah, I wasn't wrong. It is fine if they have always been the kings of the windlass, but having two on board is truly a luxury. The one we have at the stern has a horizontal axis, so it's optional for the low deck installations. On the contrary, at the bow, the windlass has a switch, and the magnet and sensor are already integrated for the chain counter, so I expect to find the chain counter here, integrated into the plotter. Indeed, there it is, with its small, dedicated command on the dashboard. Now, there's just one thing left for me to do, find somewhere to anchor.
Okay, or a warm. Okay, now that I've anchored, I could relax. Dive in the water, take a hot shower. Yes, there is also the quick Nautic boiler with a stainless steel tank. After trying all these products from Quick, I can only think of one thing. How do they make them? There is a legend that says that on board the test boats there is always... No, not here. There is always... Not here. There is always a secret passage leading from the test boat. There it is. That leads directly to their facility. Well, let me try. What are these? This is our testing bascule where we test our gyros every day. Later, they are packed and shipped. Basically, here they are tested for 15 to 18 hours, and after the testing is over, they are packed. There are both large and small ones. How fast are they spinning now? Right now, there are different sizes in there. Some are spinning at 4,500 revs, while others are at 5,300 revs, depending on the dimension of the gyro. Thank you. It's amazing. Bye. Michele, what are you doing here? Well, I entered the locker and I found the secret passage that led to the facility, and here I am. I saw many stunning products, but I really don't know what this is. This is the new product of Quick, the pin stabilizer. This is a new product by Quick, the anti roll fin stabilizer. It's the most interesting project we're developing. It's a consequence of onboard stabilization, so an integrated system with fin, intruder, and gyro. It's the perfect stabilization we could have on board for steering, safety, and comfort. But this one is really huge. On which boat can it be mounted? On an 80-footer boat, and it is the intermediate size. Just out of curiosity, where did you leave our boat? The boat, right, it's at the roadstead. I have to go back and put it in place. Mamma mia! Mamma mia, what a wonderful trip! Here it's evening, and I have to get back to port, and pretty fast too. At this time, it is much better. Wonderful, what could I expect? After all, Quick really does everything. <laughs> 